Let's start with the ligaments and the upper joint right here in front of us. The clavicle, as you know, is one of the shortest bones here and also one of the first bones that first year learn. So you can see how it joins with the acromium end of the scapula. The joint capsule, keep in mind what you're seeing is fibrous. On the inside, it is lubricated with the synovial fluid. So if I were to remove this, let's hide the joint capsule. You can see how the two bones are actually meeting with each other. And this ligament you see between the two is the acromioclavicular ligament. The easiest way to remember these ligaments is to remember the two bones. It joins the acromium end and the clavicular. So you have acromioclavicular ligament. And you have the superior one and the inferior one. This, what you see right here, is just simply cartilage on the clavicle because it's a cartilaginous joint at the end and otherwise the two uh, bones themselves are bony. So all the weight, whenever you're carrying something in your hand, that force which pulls it down is transmitted through the humerus, through the glenohumeral joint, through the scapula and from the scapula through this acromium into the clavicle. Your whole weight is suspended right through over here. And this itself, the sternal end is attached to the sternum. Keep in mind, the scapula itself is not attached to your thorax. It's free floating on it. In fact, the only between, it only has two connections, one above with the clavicle and one with the humerus. It's freely movable on your thorax. That's why you can protract it and retract it.